welcome back to another Piston Cup Productions video and I'm proud to present to you the Showtime Loop playset featuring Ivy and the Circus Stunt Performer from Cars on the Road from the new Disney Plus series coming out very soon. As we get closer and closer to the release, there's a lot of merchandise coming out day by the day through Target Online, in-store, etc. So, let's take a look at the packaging, shall we? So I got this through Target Online and it was 17% off for some reason already on clearance or sale, I should say. I will post the link if you would like to purchase one of these in the pinned comment below. Now, last time I checked, it was sold out, but just keep an eye out, set a notification alert on the Target app if you wanna, you know, get this soon. But I was lucky enough to get one before they sold out, and hopefully they come in stock soon again, because this looks like a really fun set. I, I gotta admit, this is one of the sets I was most excited for, along with the Salt Flat set, which hopefully I'll get to review soon. But looking at the packaging, it looks very reminiscent of this pack right here. So it's like a sort of add-on, I guess you could say. You can buy the Showtime Story Pack to add to the Showtime Loop playset. It's nice to see that they're doing a bunch of little um, add-ons and accessories to like all correlate together into one big set. I kind of like that they're doing this sort of like, uh, what was it? Mater's Tall Tales where they had like certain sets and then they had individual packs to also add on to those um, play sets or singles as well not just packs looking at the packaging here you got that same logo that is also on the four pack right there along with the same artwork for mcqueen and mater showtime loop play set and my bad about the reflections and the lighting uh, i'm recording this early in the morning so the sun's just like barely coming into my room so the reflections are kind of wacky and stuff but i'll try my best to make it look you know presentable Speaking of presentable, the box looks really nice. I like how Lightning and Mater are way back there in the in the stands. Looks like there's just chilling there, I guess you could say. Circus Stunt Performer and Ivy, which I'm presuming they're both plastic. I mean, we haven't had plastic die cast in play sets for, geez, like the longest time ever. And looking at the bottom right corner, it says adult assembly required. You can go ahead and screenshot that barcode right there if you want to check if it's at your local Target or check if it's on the Target app, your choice. And there's a promotional image of the playset. Cars on the Road logo, Ivy. It is covered up completely with this little plastic window. So we'll see how that goes. There's the side panel. There's the top of the box. And there is the back Showtime Loop playset. You push this forward, and I'm guessing that's what's going to crank her to do the loop. And I got plenty of other cars that I want to try with this, especially like monster truck size cars. Because I just want to see how well this performs with other vehicles. And just some regular size vehicles too. I want to see how they can do on this. But essentially, it's just a loop. There's not a lot of track. You can easily connect other stuff to it. So, yeah. It is expandable, which is good to see, but it does have the different story set connectors. It's not the same chunky ones from before. Uh, for a little size comparison, the box I thought was going to be bigger, but here's the box for the Radiator Springs Tour set. Just to give you an idea of how different the size is. It ain't much of a difference, I'll tell you that. But you can notice the difference of the box. Yeah, and of course the price. I mean, this is $24.99. This is 50 bucks if you're lucky. So which one has the more value? We're gonna see. I already have this video pre-recorded, so this will be coming out soon, but I just wanted to prioritize this one because I'm honestly more excited to upload this one than the other one. And same with this one. I've already reviewed this pre-recorded video. Should be out soon. All right, so enough talking. Let's go ahead and open this up. I know there is an easy tab on the back, but in case I want to store this again, like the whole place it in the box, I'd rather just open it from the side. Okay, cardboard, dump it all out. Ooh. Yeah, see now this, this looks like awesomeness. It is, wow, it's pretty big. I need to show you like a little size comparison real quick. Here's my hand, here's the little trampoline thing, and here's a car. It's pretty big. I mean, look at the loop tracks. These are pretty big too. Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited for this one. Okay, so I hope there's not a bunch of stickers. Okay, that's not too bad. 
The Radiator Springs tour set was hell with the stickers, and you guys will see that once I upload that review. But this one doesn't seem to have that bad amount of a stickers. But, of course, I'm going to do a time lapse to sort of just get this all done and going. Yeah, so we got the stickers, and we got the assembly, and the mode to play. Okay. All right, we'll do that in just a bit, but we got to take out the vehicles as well. We can't forget about those. So let's see here. Can I just pull this out? Okay, there. Yeah, just do that. I got scissors somewhere. Where did I leave them? Here they are. Okay. I'm like looking off camera so you guys can't really see this. My bad about that. I think I got her though. Yeah, there we go. All right, first look at Ivy. Hopefully they do release it as a deluxe or in some sort of multi-pack because, well, as it is, deluxes are hard to find. I mean, where I get my deluxes is at HEB, so I don't know how they're going to release this one as a deluxe. Ivy as well. The Road Rumblers Mater, I'm pretty sure, will end up being a deluxe somehow. So... Yeah, I'm really just curious how they're going to do it. Because deluxes are just not the easiest to find in anywhere. Okay, so this pity... I don't know. I mean, my finger's there. I've reached contact with them, but you know what? I'm going to find another way, because that's just not going to work. I think what I'm going to do is come along here and try to find a way to cut through this plastic. There we go. I think that did it no not quite okay there's a little notch here at the bottom i think that did it there we go yep that did it shake it out a little bit i mean it's so light that you know because it's plastic so it's a little harder to take out since it's got no weight to it but all right i think now we can take a look at these two vehicles included and then start the assembly. So here is Ivy, your first look at the new Cars on the Road character in its standard form. This isn't the moss covered version. This is just a classic version in plastic. For a little size comparison, let me bring out Lightning McQueen. Where is he? Okay, here he is. Comparison to Ivy. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I really hate the light reflection going on in my room right now. Little size comparison with Mater. There you go. And here is a little pity included. The wheels do not roll. It is just stationary, unfortunately. And I don't know if they released this as a normal metal die cast, but time will tell. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to do a time lapse now and build the set. This is this is the one for 24 bucks this is definitely worth the value i love the size of this loop it looks incredible it looks way better in person than it looks on camera so the way you do this is basically you crank this forward that gets the launcher in place and then you're going to press this little tnt sort of button thing to launch it it's going to go through this little loop over the stunt show pity and it's going to bounce on the base right there. And there's another way where you detach this little loop and you put these barrels on there for Ivy to hit them and then bounce onto there. There's different ways to play with it, but right now we're going to roll up Ivy. She goes into that little launcher thing. So first test in three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Look at that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. We're gonna get a little crazy with this in just a bit, but here we go. One more launch in three, two, one. 
Yeah, it works like a charm. It does not fail to disappoint. All right, Mater. I mean, let's try him. Why not, you know? Three, two, one. Well, I don't think it's going to work because of the tow cables, but we'll see. Not quite. Yeah, I had a feeling. What about McQueen from On The Road? Let's try him. I mean, they do fit in the, the track over there, so let's see. Yeah, McQueen works. That's what I like to see. Okay, let's try Cruz Ramirez. Woo! Yeah, it works. What about one of these guys from Cars 500 and a half, or Radiator Springs 500 and a half? Let's see how they do. Yeah, Idle Grit works, or Idle Threat, my bad. Blue Grit now, let's see how he goes. Similar size to Ivy, so let's see how that goes. Yep, perfectly fine. Made it right across. So now, what about something like the XRS Racers, McQueen and Mater? Maybe this Mater will work a little bit better. Who knows? Three, two, one. He made it. The suspension made all the difference. What about Lightning McQueen? Woo! Like a charm. So now, we've tried those versions of Lightning and Mater, but what about... It? For the OGs on my channel, the Mater's Tall Tales Monster Truck Mater McQueenan. Let's see how they go. So, ooh, Mater does not fit by a hair. Literally by a hair, he does not fit on the track. If his tires were just a little thinner, he'd be able to fit. Yeah, it doesn't work. What about Lightning? That'd be awesome if he fits, cause he is a very similar scale to Ivy. They almost match up perfectly in scale. So let's try Lightning. I think he should be able to do it. Three, two, one. Bro, let's try that again. Three, two, one. Well, that's just sad. Anyways, hmm, that was interesting. Well, we got those characters all, the, you know, out of the way. They did their thing, but you know who I've been wanting to try? Mac. Oh yeah, we're doing Mac. He should be able to do it. I have faith in him. Three, two, one. Okay, he kind of made it. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to give him a second shot at this because he made it. Three, two, one. Come on, Mac. You made it the first time. Okay, what about going backwards? All right, he made it. Speaking of backwards, let's try and made her again, but this time going backwards. Maybe he'll be able to do it. Three, two, one. There we go. <laughs> That's so in character. Yeah, he made it doing it backwards. So... You can also remove, like I said earlier, this little loop right here and put three barrels right there. So now let's go ahead and try Ivy getting through that. Let's see how this goes. Three, two, actually, let me reposition the camera. All right, that's better. Three, two, one. Woo, that was quick. So now let's see how far she can bounce onto that little ring right there or trampoline. Three, two, one. She made it. Okay, not bad. This is pretty dang fun. I really like it. I think you guys are going to like it. The size, the value, in my opinion, it's all there. I really like the whole trampoline thing I, I really do like that the little show pity here at the bottom looks nice oh you can't even see it there he is the inclusion of ivy awesome the fact that a lot of vehicles do work if they fit on the track of course they will work because you have this outer track that pretty much fits ivy but then you have this inner track that fits vehicles like mater or lightning or cruise you know basic smaller vehicles 
and I mean even Mac was able to do it backwards and he doesn't fit on either or of the lanes so it works with a lot of vehicles you just got to get creative and try a bunch of different vehicles you can try maybe Jackson Storm Francesco you know what let me bring Jackson and Francesco why not all right let's try Jackson and Francesco and you know who came to visit the whole town of freaking Radiator Springs we're gonna try all of these as well I mean I I think it's funny if Fillmore Luigi and Guido make that loop so we're gonna do them as well so Francesco you're up first three two one whoa pretty quick he did it well though Francesco works Jackson Storm here we go three two one like a charm they both did it well okay so let's try now something a little bit more challenging like the townies let's go with red seems like he might be able to do it three two one benefit of the doubt make him go backwards like i gave mac that chance let's do that three two one he's just too heavy okay let's try the fabulous hudson hornet yep perfectly fine no issues there let's try sally all right here we go three two one ramon <laughs> this is gonna be a good one three two one go perfectly and even the little launcher right there since it's in the shape of a triangle it matches up with the back part of him so that just worked beautifully okay let's do fillmore i think this is the proper expression to throw him through the loop with if it even focuses come on there we go all right three two one. Ooh, he flipped upside down uh you know what one, one more try you know just doesn't hurt to try one more time there we go he did it now let's do luigi and guido i don't know why i do this <laughs> but i still want to try it all right here we go luigi three two one i mean he made it through sure he flipped over but he made it through now let's do guido the ultimate giga chad is about to make it through this loop you think he can do it i think he can do it maybe not on his three wheels but he'll do it three two one oh he just hit my finger he just flew right off uh backwards he can do it backwards yeah he made it well he didn't you know he didn't hit the base but he did it actually now that i think about it why not try someone like finn mcmissile and holly shiftwell i feel like they would fit into the category of stunts like these all right holly shiftwell and three two one Woo! beautifully finn mcmissile three two one perfectly and beautifully so what did i think about this set uh it's definitely a lot of fun i mean i'm having a lot of fun on camera you can imagine how much fun i'm gonna have off camera so many other characters on the loop it's just an endless amount of possibilities with this loop you can do so many characters some are obviously gonna fail some are gonna succeed but for the most part I brought out, you know, quite a wide variety and range of characters, and most of them were able to go through without a problem. But overall, the value, it's there. The stickers, it wasn't too bad. I really wish this was painted on there. I mean, but it's fine, I guess. Th this was the most tedious part for sure, putting on those triangle stickers. But everything else was able to go perfectly fine. I really like it. You got your story set connectors right there at the back. You got some right here as well. So if you want to jump out of the loop and connect them to the next set, like Radiator Springs, you can do that. Eventually, I'll make a video where I connect all of the sets to sort of make it look like that right there. Because that's the idea, isn't it? Anyways, let me know if you'll be getting this set. Piston Cup Productions signing out. And this set was definitely a 10 out of 10 in my book.